And now, Brittany Cooper with KMVT Sports. When you hear the name Leighton Vander Esch, you think Dallas Cowboys linebacker or former Boise State great. But this Idaho native grew up in a town of no more than 500 people, and he represents everything they embrace. It's pretty special just seeing how kind of everything develops over the years. And I mean, six years since I've been out of high school, which is unbelievable. It kind of enlightened everybody around here to have a superhero go to the NFL. And, and uh, it's changed Riggins quite a bit, actually. John Belton owns Seven Devils Steakhouse right on Main Street, otherwise known as U.S. Route 95. We caught up with Belton right before he shut down the restaurant during this COVID-19 crisis. It's taken a toll, and it's, it's not so much. It's, it is a coronavirus, and it's also a financial decision, but you're going backwards. Then. Leighton Vander Esch actually visited the restaurant last month. A lot of people come to this town to hopefully meet Leighton Vander Esch. Just like many businesses across the country, the pandemic is shuttering doors, despite panoramic views right below. But if Riggins can survive a challenging steelhead season or the COVID-19 pandemic, the residents can survive anything. Come on, let's go. Just ask the Vander Esch's neighbor, Dan and Dweeza. The ancients that had a way of life and we survived. They survived. And Dweeza believes it's Vander Esch's humble nature that got him to the NFL. He's a team player. And he's not all pound his chest all about me. He's about us because he grew up here. And he knows because of eight man football that they were all dependent on one another. Not many professional athletes are as dedicated as Leighton Vander Esch. See, last year he poured in $50,000 to the locker room in the building you see behind me. He makes it a point of coming home any chance he gets to watch his alma mater, Salmon River, in action, whether it's football or basketball. It means a lot just being able to go and, and interact with the boys and obviously my little brother-in-law he plays he's playing basketball there now and he's a junior and, and so he's going on his senior season and so it's it's been awesome to see him develop he might be a star on america's team but his heart belongs in reagan's